Oh yeah. Okay. Let's talk about um, what this canvas is. <laughs> I picked this canvas up the other day. Um, look, for look two dollars, right? So if you like me, you are broke, you got no money, um, and you want to save a bit of money by buying an old canvas like this and then you want to repaint over it but you're not sure how to do it all right i'm going to show you how to do it first i've got some sandpaper here it's um 60 grit sandpaper it's a bit old so i'm just going to use this sandpaper to um, sand off any rough points or any high points on the painting I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to just paint over this anyway. But when you buy the painting, or if you've, if you've got an old painting and you're using acrylic paints, you need to use acrylic paints on them. If this is oil based, you're not going to be able to do this. You'll only be able to paint oil paint over oil paint. rid of all the high points right I've got a little rag here I'm gonna wipe over the um, I'm gonna wipe over the canvas all right this rag is a little bit damp right this will pick up any loose particles now now what I've got here I've got a um, I just use a, a painter's brush, like a normal house painter's brush. And I just moisten the bristles with the water, otherwise the paint will stick to the bristles. And the paint that I use, believe it or not, I use um, house paint, what they call house white acrylic paint. I use it because it's cheap. Um, you only need a couple of coats and that's it. Okay, right, let's get started. Start with the corner bits. Just put it on diagonal. You don't want to have straight strokes in this, okay? You know, slap it on, basically. Make sure you do, um, make sure you do crisscross, crisscross um, painting pattern. That way you'll get it nice and covered. All right. The, the paint today is drying really fast because it's actually quite hot here today. It's about 30 degrees or maybe a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. And it'll definitely need two coats. It may even need three coats. But we'll see how we go anyway. is don't forget to do that your edges all right on the edge I've got the edges here I'll do the edges right here the edges here okay so um, we've, we've, it's been well over an hour and we've come back to um, do another coat it's the second coat and hopefully, they will only need to do two coats. I'll keep my brush in a plastic bag. That way I don't have to rinse it all the time. You can use Glad Wrap as well. I'm gonna take it out of this. And it's still, 
I'll just use it as it is. Got my paint here. We do this crisscross action again. Another thing I like about house paints is they're, they're really thick. So that's why, you know, by looking at this, I'll only need to have two coats. So now we're going to let this dry for two hours, then it's ready to paint on. And we'll come back after that and I'll just show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's been two hours. We now have a beautiful um, dry canvas to work on. New, well, it's used. But we can paint anything we like on this. Hope you like our video. Um, please subscribe. See you later.